a tournament shout out. The uh, South African Nationals are taking place again this year and they are in <coughs> October on the 28th and 29th of October. So anyone um, willing to go to South Africa is amazingly beautiful. beautiful. Um, consider bringing your miniatures um, because that seems like a really good place. It takes near uh, it takes place near Cape Town, um, so <clears throat> because South Africa is huge, so you, you you just you need to be in the right spot, right? Um, but they seem very very willing to go and help you if you need uh, accommodations or anything. So any queries, contact Nigel Perry, who is the TO of the South African National. Um, and uh, this is the pack. Uh, he sent me the pack, which I will just I'll go over like the major things with you here. Um, the major thing is, of course, the dates. Uh, the ta it takes place on the 28th and 29th. So it's a two-day event. Um, you have deadlines for the 1st of October, where the lists need to be in. And then the TOs will publish the lists on the 9th of October, hopefully, so that I can see them as well and we can all, you know, get to grips with the meta. Um, there's a list of what you need to bring. Um, the models, uh, they must be 28. WYSIWYG, all that is pretty standard. For selection, 1250 points, uh, either a dual, dual generic reinforced or a single theater. I like this setup because this balances theater platoons, which can be a little bit overpowered sometimes, but dual platoons, because you get so much more and you get access to so much more, there's a balance here. Um, so I really like that. They have the uh, modified Avanti Savoia, which makes Italians a little bit more playable. I also really like that. Armored platoons, not permitted. Um, um, brom, brom, brom. Mounted platoons for all the vehicles and soft skins, such as long range desert group, will be allowed though. Interesting, right? You can build some really interesting platoons with that. Um, no name characters, no intelligence officers, no war correspondents, no warplanes, no boats or trains, no more than one free unit. I like this setup. This is what I'm doing for all my tournaments as well. Um, I mean, it it just it ruins the game if you have more than 200 points extra which some british platoons can have so you can either have the uh, as a british indian player free artillery observer or the free indian squad that's a good setup um this will also wreck uh, the uh, allied romanian list a little bit which was a list where you could set up so you could have like multiple units of free uh, extra men they will be playing Five scenarios, meeting engagement, key positions, heartbreak ridge, sectors, and timely objectives. These are the same scenarios that we are seeing more and more international tournaments bring up. They work well as competitive scenarios. So, right. Uh, do I have the money to go to South Africa? I don't think I do. <laughs> but I really want to. I, uh, I want to travel with this game. It, it's so fun to meet new people, to go to different metas, to see what they're doing. Um, I will have to follow this from afar, I'm afraid. Anyway, and there's even an etiquette. Perfect, 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 perfect. Declare your actions, always do that. Nice little setup here. Um, if you're interested, there's a link in the description. That's the email for Nigel, the TO. Um, Go and join the games. Cheers.